All right, uh, Augustine, good evening to you. Talk to us now. Okay, yeah, um, you know, I just, I'm just entering. I was looking at the headline today that uh, P2B is marked for persecution or something like that, isn't it? I think. Yeah, um, according to Abure, according that to, is yes. the headline we brought here today. Um, three three questions are there. Uh, Obi Mang for persecution, Abure, Ozer Homer questions Supreme Court's judgment. Uh, while uh, Salihu said Nigeria on the uh, on on the global shame, you know, for the judgment by Supreme Court. Yeah, yeah, that of. Uh... Um, Oze, Oze Kome, questioning Supreme Court. You see, to be honest with you, the this the judiciary in Nigeria, I don't know whether it's Agbado that brought the highest shame by his forgery and the narco business, or the judiciary on their own. You see, there's something people, that's why when we come here, they say, why I speak? You see, there are some people who should understand. Because people look upon the uh, Supreme Court as the highest court in the land, whatever. The Supreme Court are saying that the forgery, the deposition done at Chicago should not be accepted. It wasn't done in the court. What people do not know is that in jurisprudence, every country adopts the system that suits them. Insofar as what was done in Chicago, the deposition, is a standard practice in America. It doesn't matter whatever anybody thinks. If the US system, in the U.S. system, you can do it the way it was done. That's okay. Nigeria should accept it. So by Supreme Court querying that, they think that they are clever. They didn't know that they've even let themselves down because the world will be laughing at them. It's as simple as that. In the U.K. here, for you to go f get your first degree, you do a levels. Normally, from secondary school, you do a levels. You end up spending three years to get a bachelor's degree in economics or, or physics or chemistry. But somebody in Nigeria will write jump and do it four years. So if the person from Nigeria, from UK here, now goes back to Nigeria to look for jobs, say they want to be a teacher, and they advertise that they want people to come and teach economics or physics, and you tender your bachelor's degree, will they ask you, oh, did you write jump? You said then you did it three years. And you in Nigeria, you did four. Because in the UK here, three years is the standard practice after A-level. In Nigeria, it's four years. No A-level, just direct jam. You write your jam and then you, added, you add one more year. So what is different between the two? Why won't Nigeria accept the degree from UK? A bachelor's degree. Why won't Nigeria accept it? So that's why when they, some of these things, this Supreme Court did, those of some of us that are not lawyers, we felt that, Law is really a common sense course. Forget about all those sections, this section. It's just, in the end, everything boils down to common sense. Even with that, you can easily know. How, why should Supreme Court query the position done in America in which this registrar said the certificate is not from them? And they are saying, why, was it, why wasn't it done in the court? Most everything being the court in the U.S. is a standard practice to do it the way they did. So what are they, what are they talking? So I know that's uh, one of the grants of Stokome is using to challenge them because it's not supposed to be. So Nigeria messed up, to be honest with you. I can never I can't see anything good that will come out of uh, this government. In fact, everything is Nigeria is collapsing by the day, which we all know is happening before our very eyes. So I do not see why. If they just want to make people be a scapegoat, well, they are just daydreaming. Probably oh, 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 that must make Leave those things. They want to. They, uh, I'm uh, always uh, telling you, these guys are afraid of protest. Not to talk of exactly. persecuting that, that, uh, Peter. Why, they know what will I'm come out from it. Believe me, they know. That's what, maybe that is the leak uh, that we need, that uh, people are waiting for to talk nonsense or say DSS. That is the end now. People that are been standing on defense or that are saying, "What do we do now?" You touch a very quiet man like that. Try to. What didn't they try? during the primaries and everything. They should not try. You see, every arrangement that we get this man out of power is what I'm in for. Let him just get out there. It's a shame. If people, it's a, let me it's tell a, you that. If it's people it's a, it's a to come out to protest for Peter will be, that will be the end of Nigeria. I'm telling you, because if, that is probably oh. they are looking for. So maybe they will play into the hand and I pray. <laughs> I pray and I pray that they, they try it. Because this is, this is a terrible shame. 
Shopee is a very terrible shop. I mean, sometimes I look and say that. What are what 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 is the meaning of all this nonsense? Look at where Nigeria is now. How can you borrow money and be sharing money? You go and borrow, you share. After eating it today, what happens tomorrow? Nobody is talking, nothing, no plan for electricity, no plan for refineries, no plan for anything. Nigeria is just broken down. Things are just expensive. Now, the dollar and the, the, the naira is just falling like a dry leaf from the tree. You know, when a dry leaf is falling, you can't control it. It just be swerving like just until it touches the ground. That is the way it's falling. Naira is just yakata, just they go in way. And nobody is talking. And people are telling me, hey, they say, Supreme, just like what I listened to about he said the other day, hey, they must con con congratulate what? The greatest mistake P2B will make is to write congratulations to Tinubu. Anyway, I know he won't do it. I know. He will never do it. He, he dare not. I dare him. In fact, I, I damn him. Of course, he can't. Let me not damn him yet. Because he can't. So what are we to look at? Look at the state of the economy. People can barely feed. Now, before we used to hear that this, people are just openly saying it. That nothing. You can't buy anything. Naira is just like another tissue paper. Everybody is carrying it about. It cannot it can't exchange it for anything. You can't. Whatever you go today. I was where was somebody telling me that this is a drug they use. Is it or is it or augment is it augmenting? Or I've forgotten the antibiotic they used to cure typhoid. He said it used to be 5,800 naira. That after two or three, whatever, it's down 25,000. And this is what they use most hospitals to cure. So if he, this, I don't really, if Nigerians, I don't know, what are they really waiting for? What are they really waiting for? No, this, I believe Nigerians this, are going to come out to, uh, to protect. This, this, if, if, they, the good, if it's well organized. The good thing about this thing is that, though it's, uh, sorry I'm using it just like a poetic, uh, um, uh, what is it called? Poetic justice or the or evil? See, the good thing is that let the price of petrol unite everybody. The cost of living is high. It does not matter whether you vote Agbado, you didn't vote for him, or whatever. Thank you. you. Didn't vote for Thank him. you, Sierra. This is what I was saying. Every, that you, see, you have to okay. use the Nigerian stock, the way, not the taxi, by, to get by, this thing done. By, by the way, I don't know, maybe somebody here can corroborate it or maybe you know say you i heard that there's a place university of ebado there's a market near it called or is it or jaw market he said the women selling fishes fish selling fish there they said they are protesting that the fish they are selling they know is expensive people are no longer buying it and they are yeah, yeah. yes and as a result they are not making they are not making profit and you know what fish means uh -huh. So when you start to rot from the head, now then you lose. The, it's not like you are. It's it's not like you are selling. It's not like you are selling timber. You know, if you are selling timber, the the only thing you fear is fire. As long as there is no fire outbreak, your timber is there waiting for you. You sell, you not sell, or tomorrow you come and meet it. Even if, so far you cover it, or you are selling a uh, gravel. You say you know, say oh, your gravel is there. Nothing is not going to rot, or uh, you know, say it got soft or it, de it, it decays. The but gravel yeah, won't the, decay. The issue was even the cold room they were using to store these fishes. Yes. They don't. They don't want to buy this again. Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh -huh. so yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And and they know and they know putting it in the cold room. You know you are doing it in the sense that after all, if within five days I go don't clear this one. But when you don't, they put that. The that is it now. When you are paying for the code room and you are not selling, so you are just making money. And then before you know it, the person owning the code room will say, "Look, oh, before I used to take a uh, one bag of fish, maybe hundred naira to put it for one week. This time, this will don't cost. See when they sell this So now five hundred now or six hundred, you go shout. So these are the thing. So those women that are protesting, it means that. They are protesting because of what is happening locally there. In worry, in Ine, we everywhere. So the good thing is that the hardship has a national <coughs> the hardship has a federal character. You know? Do you know what they're trying to return to the society? Pashoko. You remember Pashoko? Uh, what is there? There, of course, no, there's no proteinous food. They are trying to when when people can no longer feed well, take care of their kids exactly. very well, you're gonna be seeing for shop but, on the street, people, but, you know, big head, you know, but, you know. Particularly, 
particularly pro proteinous food. Beans, no day ready. You say beans, one cup now, two hundred and fifty. As not two. You know, you know when I say this thing, eh, to be honest with you, if if, if care is not taking a bag of pure water, go be fifty naira. Pure water, where you they take five, it go be fifty. So this is, is this what like fifty. Okay, yeah. Yeah. For a bag. Just That's one. One sachet. Sachet. One sachet. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 one sachet of pure water. Before night, it was twenty. It was twenty naira for one. It's not 15 naira. And, and trust Nigerians, if they put a hundred and they go say, ah, no change now, you know, say no change. They will tell you, ah, no, no change. Or oh, God, no gay change now, hundred, hundred naira. Give me. <laughs> so when, if, you know, if you are bringing 15 naira out, they go say, bless this man, they're mad. You know, they go, they look at you, say, ah, which one? Baby? 50 is still there. People will still they see 20 naira. So please, those listening to us, this is an opportunity for Nigerians to say, never again. And, this is the worst period in Nigeria's history, whereby the people are suffering, can't even see water to drink, yet the people you elected are buying the most expensive car ever. How can one car cost 160 million naira? See, somebody, before you somebody, came somebody, in, somebody should divide it I by was 15. telling them here. Sorry, see, before you came in, I was telling them here that the 160 million naira is actually a bribe. Remember, that was deliberated on before the judgment. Yes. You see that? It was actually a bribe yes. that was given to the National Assembly. That's why I don't believe that they're going to be able to do anything. Because they've been bribed. And we're looking at cars. It's actually not cars for cars. So, 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 100, so, 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 160 million naira. I'm trying to say, uh, what is the minimum wage, Seth? Let's just say 50. Let's be... Let's be on. Let's just help them. Let's say minimum wage is fifty. If you divide it by fifty thousand, so it will be three thousand two hundred workers that will be paid with one car. At the at the at the rate of fifty thousand naira for minimum wage, if you divide one sixty million by fifty fifty thousand, it will give you thirty two thousand. So in other words, oh not thirty two thousand. Sorry. It will give you 3,200. So 3,200 workers that are taking minimum wage, their salary is a, for one month, their salary is equivalent to one of those Jeep. 3,000. Can you imagine? 3,200. So this is what we are saying. I wish people, are, people can get it like this. This is what we are saying. If Nigerians fail to come out now, I mean, to, how, can, how can they endure this? There is no amount of palliative. Why this government is very wicked? Very, very. This is Shewaju uh, Oshi. Very wicked. Is. I wish the government came in and then borrowed the whether how many billion dollars and dump it in one refinery. So that under one month, two months, the refinery will start working. Then we start getting petrol. Before you know, within four months, within a six, seven months, at least three refineries will be working. Buhari stayed eight years without doing anything. And now Nigeria is importing petrol. How can, how, how can we survive with that? We cannot. You see, it cannot work. It cannot. There is no, there's no way you can slice it. It cannot work. So, so that is the issue. That is the issue. Nigerians must, Nigerians must brace up. It's not enough for people to say, oh yeah, this, 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 that. They don't need to be to even uh, push you up. Uh -huh. They don't need to be... They don't need to be to even push you up. Exactly. Somebody told me it's a ciprofloxacin. Yes. That's what they used to cure typhoid in Nigeria. The thing has gone up from 5,000 something to 20 something thousand. So you can imagine. Eh? And you know, in Nigeria, you never sure whether it is uh, original. Eh? So people will just be pumping drug into the system. I wonder how they, if keeping quiet by this time, I do not see, I do not see the need. To be honest with you, I do not. They should try. Nigerians must come out and champion their cause all over the world, even in Europe here. The fact that the cost of living is high, you see people protesting immediately. Not because they said, look, the cost of living is so high. They did it in Greece. They did it in Argentina, in which they come up with their plate, be knocking it or cooking utensils. They do it all over the world. Nigerians, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? The cost of living is so expensive. How can you put petrol in your car? No way. You, uh, can you buy food? No way. 
I don't know how much they sell a bag of gari. They say rice rice is about sixty thousand. A bag of gari, only God knows what it will be. So yeah, they, I think they are projecting that it's gonna be like uh, eighty thousand, maybe from like next week or next two weeks. Because I was watching the TV, they were kind of like I was like, so if a bag of rice is not be sold for eighty thousand naira, uh -huh. and a bag what of, does that mean? Uh, I mean of, like. <laughs> a, a, a bag of and that is uh, October. By the time you get to December one, when they say that it's Christmas, you see. To be honest with you, I do not really see why Nigerians should be keeping quiet by now. People should be on the street, morning, afternoon, night. This government will have to pull it down. It's a very insensitive. By the way, somebody who has been stealing stealing money from Lagos State through Alpha Beta, now he's in charge of Nigeria. What do you think will happen? All this boro boro boro, he's just st st stealing money. He's not doing anything. Nothing good will ever come out of Tinubu. Very legitimate. Pombo, somebody you did, you did not vote for. Now look at the corruption in the in the uh, supreme uh, in the supreme uh, the supreme court. You saw what the retiring chief. I mean, one of the judges. Um, is it that that judge justice? That judge. What he said. You see, these are the things we want people to take into consideration. There is really no reason why Nigerians should not be on the street, man, until the government. Just until the government re resigns and get out. Otherwise, nothing good will ever come. It will continue. The hardship will continue to spiral and multiply by the day. Tomorrow now, it, you can never tell me that by tomorrow, a pound will be five for 1,500 naira. It's not possible. When we get to tomorrow, you will hear what they're going to tell you. So they are, these are the things now. These are the nonsense we are talking about. It cannot continue. See him, remember, we, we are like a prophet. We said in January on this same platform that I, I, yeah, dollar, I I dollar is likely based on the data, dollar is likely going to go up to like 1,000, 1,005. You know, I still remember some people that were calling in and they were disputing it. They were giving, telling us how things were going to change, that they are for Abadu then. Okay, no problem. But today, this is the reality. And I can bet you that most of them don't even have money. They can't really take care of themselves. They are take about it. As Wadi was declared the winner, if he was truly loved by the people, you would have seen jubilation on the streets. Nothing. Yeah. What? What? Uh, let me ask this question: What are the chances of? Uh, what happened to Nikolai Ceausescu happening here? Okay, uh, Ceausescu of a, is it? I think Romania is it? Romania, Romania. See, um, Ima, you know, uh, in Nigeria, because of uh, our tribal affiliation, Nigerians are strongly affiliated to their tribe. Probably when something like this is not happening, but I wonder if if such things would ever be given prominence again. <clears throat> I say this because the level of suffering people are going through is unbearable. These are what we know. We only project it yeah, based on cost of petrol because, uh, and food stuff. This... Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's this national consensus. National consensus that's coming on now. Go ahead. Co co consensus on what? Co uh... no, I'm saying the national consensus with, with regard to everybody has had a belly full of even those who uh, voted him and those it's like we are coming together on that uh, level that we are definitely dissatisfied with what's going on you know and that's why i said know, that's why i said we I should not that we should not what, make it labor party and pdp because it has to be about the nigerian states the situation uh, the system has collapsed, and everybody needs to get on board because everybody is suffering the same issue. We, we all had problem, the I'm, same I'm, problem. You I'm know, not even, I'm not even seeing any party affiliation here because the suffering is real. Whether even if anywhere, okay, whether you yes. vote for Tinubu, you didn't vote for Tinubu, the suffering is real. So you must still do something. You must. We cannot continue like this now. Nah? It cannot be possible. We cannot. We cannot. To be honest, we can't. 
It's just damn to, you see, this is unbearable. I feel for those people. It's not easy. People tell you what they go through. If you listen to what people recount what they go through in Nigeria, food is like, it's, it's, it's like uh, what is it called? Gold dust to buy something and eat. So it's, there is, uh, I mean, the people just have to come out and do something. Uh, you don't have to pull this government down. Let him go. It this is a very sat satanic, wicked, wicked, evil, occultic, occultic government they are mounted. Yeah, See, we know the most, the, you know the most funny thing is like the way the country is right now is yeah. we are speaking on this platform. We just so they can't see because there's no light. Exactly. They can't even it's, you, it's, you, it's you, not uh, it's not just all it's not just about light, also. Many of them don't have yeah. money to put data. I need data, data on your on your phone. Because yeah, you, many you of them don't have like, money to put data on the phone. I get on your phone first talk of talk before you talk about sitting down and even the network are ripping them off. You buy data for one month in two days it's finished. You buy data that is, this data is meant for one month in two days it's finished. It's that bad. So everything is against the Nigerian public. Everything and it's because I'm not saying anything. Hey. Everything is against Nigeria. Everything is against what, Nigeria. What I had was, you know, you know, this thing. Eh, sometimes when this this government says, you know, so if not that, say we have our loved ones back home or something, and then there are certain things you have to bear for them. Do you know that my governor Soludo said they were told it's five billion naira per state for this palliative. Soludo say it's only two billion they've given me. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what. No, he said this. He said you have to say it. He's announced it. He said it's those. He said they say people may be hearing five, five. He said what have they given us? Is two billion, mm -hmm. and they say it's, it's not free. It should be returned. It should be. It's, they are paying back. It's not that they hand out. Go and spend. No, even at that, they've only given below fifty percent, which is maybe some for something percent. He said it's only two billion they've given us. Two billion. From the for the palliative, I bet you will hear them. Oh, they've given every state five five billion for. How can you be giving? Pe this is pure feudal uh, feudalism. Uh, uh, what they uh, what they practice in the uh, north, eh? What they what they practice in the north? How can you be giving? How do how can government be giving people money? Eh? How can it's people that should be giving gov government money through tax? That is how government takes money from people because they provided you with job or. A enabling environment for you to flourish. If you either, either uh, the environment for you to flourish while doing your private business or anything. So from there, the government every month you give government, you pay money to government through tax. But this time, government will not go and borrow money, maybe from China, and then give to governors. Say please give to everybody. Okay, if <laughs> so, sometimes when you it just he said so this is the level Nigeria is. Meanwhile, our oil is being stolen. You know, on a daily basis, you don't you don't know which is which. This money they are borrowing, you don't know the condition, how they got this loan, this what they signed. It might be a case like uh, Zambia, in which one day China took over the Zambian Broadcasting Corporation, took over their international airport, start to manage it. You may be surprised that <laughs> one day, as you are arriving at Mutala <laughs> Airport, you will hear one Chin Chong, Chin Chong person talking to you. <laughs> I don't know how to speak Mandarin language. You'll be surprised everyone will just be Chinese. You think say Nigeria they host a one type of food, football tournament. You don't know say <laughs> no no say these are the, the, the new landlords. Be are, are you sure? Are you sure? I, I was told uh, three days ago that they now have a, a school uh, at Tiaba where the Chinese children are now learning Yoruba very very serious seriously. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So are we sure that uh, we are not already in that state whereby they are already preparing their people to take you over know, our system, you know, kind of like to you just know, take you know, us. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, Nigerians can be, you know, Nigerians can be, let me say, cooperative or you know, humble when they go abroad. They just they humble themselves for airport, show your passport. Oh, stand here, we stand. Maybe after doing all those wahala, you learn for Mutala Airport or Abuja. 
you don't see one kind of they feed their thirty. It is saying that one, 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 one woman born them. All of them go, go resemble. Huh? It's all they ask you for passport. You say, look at this. Say, why are these people? Imagine in my own country. You say, no, no, no. We are not in charge. We are not. They'll deport are... you back to the country where you're coming from. <laughs> they go tell you. You say, 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 you say we're. Eh? You go. No, you no, you go say. Ah, in my country. No, you know, you know, all this, all this, where they carry, uh, where we can't luggage. Now, so you go just. Lose your shoulder small, like say Messi one dribble, you lose and then come out your this thing. Come charge. Say ah, what? Are... He said no, no, no. He said this way for you now. One police could just the march, they come. He said what is happening? He said the other way. Then you could ask people say ah, Chinese everywhere. Be then they say ah, nah, do we know fee pay so they can't take over our airport. Then go the manager. <laughs> then, then go the manager. <laughs> say say then go the manager it until we they recover their money. You go to say end there. Okay. You now say, you know this train where they where people they take shakara a ah, train don't they? Now when you enter train, person go tell you say, may you see your ticket. You think say na those are in uh Oluamagboro na ingo no no na na Chinese na say your ticket. You say uh which one be able to employ these people up boys that you say no. Now then they run the now then they run the railway now. They won't recover their money. Now their money then take borrow, they borrow to fix them. So you see, all these things are possible. And when they are doing that now, you can't stop them. And the worst part of it is that when they take over, even the cleaner for airport, then go import them from China. The cleaner. Yeah, they, they'll take they'll take away your jobs. That's it. that's it. one of the biggest problems. Nigerians are not saying they, these things. They will take they, away Nigerian they, jobs. They will hmm. take away your money. I mean, you you'll got, be broke like you go, oh God. You go surprised. If now Lagos say uh, all this, uh, they say now, nah, what do they call him? Uh, is it not fashion or boss? What do they call him? This boss in Lagos. Say yeah, boss. Hey, yeah. uh, BRT boss. You go surprised. Say who, the conductor, where go they talk na Chinese? Person, where go they drive na Chinese? Driver, like then, Chinese. Uh, human being boku for China now. Nah, after no be 1.4. You're saying that uh, M. Solo Amo will be reported to them also. In fact, eh, to be honest with you, you know, we are these are the way it will it will work out. Then you now feel that eh, hey, okay, we again say you say ah oh boy, they go say, Oh boy, you never go you never go off. Go off now. Now then they clear goose, now then they day every now then they this thing. You go the one that say, eh? Now I say, ah, Nigeria no fee pay. When you reach airport, now there you go face counter. They say go pack this way, do this. You have to pay. You clear this. So it's possible, it's possible. And the way they are, we are going, you cannot have a population of about two hundred million people, and you are borrowing money, which is oh, supposed God. to be a blessing. Exactly. It's supposed to be a blessing to your that country. Is, that is the thing. That <laughs> oh, is the goodness. thing. In the, they say it's in a shame. Days, in the seventies, most of the secondary schools in Nigeria. Their physics and science teachers, mathematics, are Indians. Now, a man and the wife will come and they, and they will be teaching. They use one person's salary to be feeding in Nigeria. Then they send one person's salary back home to help their people. So India now found out that their population is so much, more than a billion, and they can provide job for them. They decided to make education standard. Such that after giving you the skill education, then you can go all over the world and start to work. So as you are leaving, you create chance for those that are coming up. That's what they did. So because of that, with this IT now, Indians are you know I know have you you know now the World Bank the World Bank uh, CEO now is an Indian, the the best they said they've ever ever had. So all these things now, this is what they did. But in Nigeria, own is that our own uh, terror with the export. Boko Haram has taken over the north and they banned it, all these things. So I say, in, in, where, in, United States, in the United States, seventy percent of the IT people are Indian. Then you have maybe like a uh, twenty percent Chinese uh, people, this South Korea or those kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Seventy yes, percent of IT, IT people in, yeah, uh, they uh, are yes. India. Every IT every IT uh, office you enter. You're going to see every one of them Indian. They don't even speak English. It's true. It's true. <laughs> they, so, still speak, um, they still speak their language. Sometimes you have to, they have to bring a, a, a translator that will translate for, you know, for them. But now they are trying to speak English somehow because they are difficult to work with. I don't, I think it's a system. 
it's a game, you know. They don't speak English. That opens up uh, an opportunity for their own people to be fit in into some position. That's what I'm saying. You, that was happening. So they are playing their games very well. Very, very it's well. True. It's true. So so they know what they did. That's what they did. So to be honest with you, that's why Peter, I remember people be saying, and I, I remember people be saying that uh, Peter B said, when they are talking about face change rate, Peter B said no. He said, the moment you start to produce, the demand for dollar go, you go there less. You produce, you export, you produce, you export. The demand for, you go there even earn them. So the demand go just drop. And because of that, it will correct itself. There is no country that we have our population that don't produce. Look at Brazil, Indonesia, they're all exporting things. What does, what do Nigeria export? Nothing. Instead, we go, we go, we go, they borrow money from, so instead, from Indonesia. <laughs> instead, instead of uh, pro, uh, producing and selling, we are borrowing and then giving it back to them to buy. We are borrowing yeah. and consuming. No, no uh, producing. As uh, do they know they are mortgaging the future of our kids? No because idea. it's them that will inherit all this debt. Nigeria. How, Nigeria how are, can you Nigeria. just borrow if, if money? People just could borrow money. If, if, and national, if, people if could buy our uh, national assembly could borrow money to buy cars, what does that mean? What does that tell us? They borrow money to buy cars, not to and invest. And not, they're a, buying, not a put in. And they are buying the, they are buying the cars from Japan. Not and even buying the cars from uh, uh, innocent or not. If they want them, uh, bullet that's that's money. another point. You are buying. You are borrowing money. You are borrowing money to buy cars. Now nah, you are borrowing money. You are sending the money back. Yes. You understand what they're doing now? Uh, not they're borrowing money to buy bullet, cars. Bullet cars. So they're, not they're, they're sending the money they're back to the country where they're borrowing. They're telling, where they are borrowing to Russia. Russia. They are telling to Russia. Them their hand again. Your hand again. Why are you buying bulletproof? No, but not not not, not the sales. They are bulletproof cars to Russia, fighting uh, in Ukraine. So that means they make real good bulletproof cars. So. If, you wanted bulletproof cars, why didn't you buy from here? Why are you going out? Oh.